Next up on the agenda is uh, Chamber of Commerce. Um, we have a visitor from the uh, Bridgewater Savings Bank, uh, manager, and, uh, and your name, sir, we you tell uh, the public? Evening. My name is Joe Mitchell. Yep. I'm with the Bridgewater Savings Bank. I'm here with my colleague, Kelly Lay, who's the branch manager of the Bridgewater Savings Bank over on Manatee Street. Just want to talk briefly about uh, the relationship that Bridgewater Savings Bank has had for, with the town of Pembroke. Doing a little research, I understand that uh, it was in the late 60s, early 70s, where the East Bridgewater Savings Bank first established a branch in Pembroke. We were fortunate enough to uh, join forces with the East Bridgewater Savings Bank and Bridgewater Savings Bank in 2010, and we've been a combined bank since then. Uh, the bank was able to build a new facility over on Mattakesa Street on, uh, in 2012. Uh, with the expanded facilities, including a drive-up ATM and a lot more convenient features, much more modern building for everybody. Um, I would do want to say that uh, the bank supports uh, Pembroke very much. Kelly, for example, is a member of the Chamber of Commerce, Kiwanis. She also puts on financial literacy seminars for the uh, students at Pembroke High School annually. And we're also very committed to um, doing what we can to stop financial exploitation against the elderly. Um, you want to uh, comment that uh, our team was able to uh, participate in the 300th anniversary parade, including myself, several years ago. So that was an exciting time for the bank to be uh, part of the community here. Um, I'm told that we sponsor the local uh, events, such as the, the Arts Festival, the Fish Fry, the Taste of Pembroke, Pembroke Titans Against Drugs, and with a grand sponsor of Pembroke Day again this year. So we're happy to be able to do that. Also like to say a little bit about our employees. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a lifelong resident who's been employed with the bank for, um, for over 11 years, Mary Hill. She's the assistant manager at our, at our branch and uh, does a great job for us and we're very, very fortunate to have her part of the team. Kelly, she's been with our bank for over 21 years, been the branch manager for five. And uh, I only go back 19 years with the bank, so she's got a couple of years on me. So we have a lot of longevity when we make a commitment. To, uh, to a community. Um, do want to uh, mention a little bit about the bank. We have eight branch locations. We have a loan office over in uh, the Rentham area, and we also have what we call the Bridgewater Financial Advisors, uh, which is in Bridgewater as, as part of our uh, efforts to uh, serve our customers. Uh, like many community banks, we have uh, four major lines of business. Uh, the deposit side, which I'm involved with, with Kelly. Uh, we also get involved with loans. Just recently, um, Kelly was certified to be able to take home equity applications over at the branch, so that's exciting for us. But we also have traditional mortgages um, and business loans for small businesses. And of course, I mentioned a little bit about our financial advisors. They do trust and investment, so they do a great job. It's one thing that, uh, that we bring uh, as a group uh, to our customers and our, the community is that we work as a team for, with all of our customers and representing all of those areas, we meet on a regular basis to do what we can to make sure our customers have all of their needs filled. So, I'd like to wrap it up, thanking the selectmen, thanking the Chamber of Commerce, and also the Fire Department, and the Police Department, who have been very supportive of us over the many decades with participating here uh, in the town of Pembroke. So that's what I have. I don't know if you have any questions or comments. Does the board have any questions? Of, uh, I have a question, Mr. Chairman. Yes. First of all, thank you for coming in. And my question would be, with banks like Bank of America that are national, almost international, how do you compete with them? We, uh, we find it a challenge. They certainly have uh, many more resources, both financial and human resources, than we have. Uh, but we do things like we discussed, try to stay involved with the community, hire local people, come to meetings like this, uh, answer questions, and be responsive. I think that's what we do, along with offering most of the products and services that your small business and your consumers might need in any particular location. Okay. Anybody else? Scott? Just a, a comment. Um, Bridgewater Savings has been very generous with their um, contributions to Pembroke um, events, and he mentioned Pembroke Titans Against Drugs and uh, the Chamber and so on. and um, you know, uh, Kelly is no stranger to, um, you know, the after hours uh, events and things that the bank uh, sponsors and participates in. And you're a good corporate citizen and we're glad to have you. Thank you very much. 
Anybody else? No? That's good. Okay. Well, have a great evening. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank for you. coming in.